What up everybody, Reed here. Welcome to another edition of the vlog. This one is going to be a good one as well. Got another special guest coming into the office today. But first, the podcast. Hey, I got the ways to go. I got moves to make, homie, but I stay in the flow. So y'all just do what I say I'ma do. No, my movement ain't faded. You can assume I'm just doing what's great. I'ma do Cause I'm live, 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 live. And ain't know when this moment is my time. Just rise, rise. Yes, I got it all in the palm of your hand. <laughs> Look at it, right here. I guess I do. Come on. Boom. There we go, guys. Another episode of the podcast. In the books, a fistful of collars. How how do you think how do you think it went this this week? That was a fun one. I said that Joe Rogan doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh, I, 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 the better than that, I agreed with AJ Agazon. What we, the hell? Right. So you're agreeing with AJ Agazon. Is that what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Put, me a a <laughs> Put me in a corner, Reed. Put me in a corner, Reed. No, well, I do. Are actually, you saying yeah, that Joe Rogan doesn't know jack shit? <laughs> no, but I would definitely say that be careful who you listen to. We had Hal Green with AJ. The, sky, the sky's going to be red tomorrow. Who knows? Um, that was a fun one. We need some topics, though. We need some topics. What do you guys think about the podcast? We want to know, and we need some topics. What do you guys think we should be talking about on the podcast next week? We need, we need your help. Help us. Oh, it's like 500 degrees outside today. I need to get under this tree. So this weekend here in Austin, Texas, the IBJJF is coming to town on Saturday and Sunday. They're doing a gi and no gi tournament. So big week of jiu-jitsu here in Austin. So a lot of guys are doing uh, big open mats. A lot of guys are doing uh, seminars and things like that as they come through town. Actually, I'm gonna be competing on Saturday in uh, gi division, Purple Belt Medium Heavy. So, so super, super stoked about that, but first, Right now I'm on my way, I'm gonna to go to Paragon here in Austin because there is a great seminar. The founder of Paragon is here, he's in town for the weekend. Ricardo Miller, you may know him as Frangia. Ricardo is a, a legend of the sport, a legend of the, of the Jiu Jitsu community. He's been a black belt for over 20 years now. He uh, spawned some of the most creative and technical grapplers out there under the scene. Can you name them? I train here at Paragon and he gave my coaches, Jose and Robert, their black belts. I've been to a couple of his seminars before actually. He comes into Austin just about once every year and, and gives, a, gives a seminar and things like that. It's always some great technique. I know I learned a clock choke one time from him that I still use. I, I get all the time in competition even. We're gonna go check it out. I think Hal is gonna be there, maybe a couple others, but I know we're gonna learn some great technique and uh, probably hear a few stories. It's gonna be a good weekend in jiu-jitsu here in Austin. I have a feeling, I have a feeling. I can step my right leg over my right hand and put that hand between my hip there. See? So now, again, put our weight in that right knee. So now it's hard for Robbie to crank my arm out. Okay? So what connects to him to me now is his hips here. Okay? So this hand I have free, right? So I'm gonna post this hand here in the hip bone the guy. Okay? And slowly I'm gonna start creating space up between his hip and my hip. I start to slowly walk, push and push, push and I can um, create space that stay up. Okay? So one more time. So as soon as you feel the guy go for that, for that Kimura there, don't let him crank out, step out and put the hand in, put your weight here. So I mean, came here in Austin, Texas, just to, to visit the guys here, you know, and I got very lucky to be at the same time in the, the Austin Open, so I'm going to be able to coach the guys. Got the leg up, got the leg up, got the leg up. Yeah, now you take your time there, now, and now you're, 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 in that case, now your left hand goes to the hip on his arm. Uh, today I, I try to, to start like a little bit a couple of like defense, I think it's a very important part of the game. Sometimes uh, people trying to learn a lot of like 
like advanced things I mean advanced and, and they forgot sometimes the basic escapes defense and also I try to get the warm up more like doing defense for Ambars, Triangle, um, sorry Ambars, Kimura. Okay guys, good job! Go next to another See things growing you know, and see the tournaments here getting very crowded and it's so nice to see things growing here too.